This video discusses how to create an email campaign in the CleverTap platform. Email marketing is known to deliver the highest ROI for marketers. CleverTap email provides everything you need to engage your users with email, plus the power of a complete mobile marketing platform. It is an all-in-one platform for email setup, design, testing, deliverability, and personalization. Let's say a travel app wants to email customers about a holiday sale starting soon. The sale provides special discounts on holiday packages to gold customers. To create a new email campaign, click on Campaigns in the main navigation. View all the campaigns created in this project here. Click Plus Campaign here. Select Email. Select Past Behavior or Live Behavior segment to create an email campaign. Pick the Past Behavior segment for this example. Select One Time, Multiple Dates, or Recurring to send the campaign once or more than once. In this example, select One Time and Start Date as December 22. Click Continue. Create a segment for Gold customers by clicking here. Create a single message, a B-test a message, or message on user property. Select a single message here. CleverTap Email offers two types of email editors. This one is a custom HTML editor. This one is a drag-and-drop editor. Below are the mobile responsive templates offered by the CleverTap platform. Create an email from scratch or use one of the existing templates. Let's explore the drag-and-drop editor first. Let's create an email like this from scratch. First, drag an email header image. To add an image, drag and drop image from here and click Browse. You have the option to select an image already available in the image gallery, upload a new image, import it from a link, or search for free images. Select this image already uploaded here. Then click Insert. To change the width of the image, turn this off and move the slider. Similarly, you can add other elements to the email such as text, divider lines, social media links, call to action buttons, icons, and more. Next, add text to the email. Drag the text element here and write the copy. Use the above formatting bar to change the size, color, and font size of the text. To place images of three locations next to each other, go to the Rows section. This section creates different types of columns in the email. We want three columns of equal sizes, so select this option. Drag images in each of the columns. Upload an image by clicking here. and change the size of the image using this slider. Next, create columns for the text needed below each image of the location. Repeat the above steps and add text to each of the images. Add a call to action button next by clicking here and change the copy here. To add deep links, Click on this button and add the link here. You can also save a few rows such as headers and footers and insert them into the email. Create a footer by adding a divider line. Next add text and write the copy. Let's go social. Next insert the social media content block and add social media links here. To delete a block, click here. And to create a copy of the block, click here. With this option, go back to an earlier version of the email. History of all the changes to this email can be viewed here. The Settings tab allows changes to general layout options such as email width, background color, and default font. While this option changes the background color of the email, this button updates the background color of the content box. Next, add the sender details by clicking here. Add the name of the sender and subject line here. Preheader is a summary text that follows the subject line when viewing an email from the inbox. 
write preheader text to increase email open rates. Adding plain text increases the deliverability of the emails. Once the email is created, test these emails. Use device previews to preview how emails will look across mobile and web devices and click here and view the device previews. Use inbox previews with code analysis to preview emails across 90 plus email clients and browsers to quickly identify and fix any issues. Click here and run these tests. This is how the result will look, which gives previews of emails across different combinations of devices and browsers. Next, send a test email by clicking on More Advanced Testing Options. To send a test email, click here. Then select the email service provider and add email IDs of the test users. Alternatively, send the email to test users defined earlier. Click on View Spam Report to understand the probability of an email landing in spam. Click on Generate Report. It will take a few minutes to create this report. This is how the report will look. The CleverTap platform runs your email through 20 spam filters across B2B and B2C email clients to see if it lands in the spam folder. The overall results across B2B and B2C clients are here. Scroll down to view the results of each filter. Click here to see why the email failed or passed a spam test filter test. Update the email based on these insights and rerun the test to ensure emails reach subscribers' inbox. Additionally, convert the drag and drop editor into HTML code. Click here to convert into HTML code and click Continue. Once you've switched to HTML code, there is no option to move back to the drag and drop editor mode for the same email. Next, we can go through the custom HTML editor. Click on the change template here and click Continue. Select the first option. If you have HTML code from an external platform or your in-house agency, click on Source here and paste the HTML code. Alternatively, you can also send a text email by writing text here. Format the text in the email by using the formatting bar above. Once you're done with the email creation, test the emails with the email testing functionalities discussed above. With the custom HTML editor, Inbox Previews with Code Analysis feature also illustrates the number of critical, moderate, and minor issues with the email code. Personalize these emails using liquid tags, linked content, and catalog send time personalization. Click here to set up these personalization tools. Liquid tags provide the ability to personalize messages based on user properties or in-app behaviors with conditional logic like if-else statements. Linked content and catalog send time personalization pulls data from third-party sources to dynamically add current information at the time the messages are sent. To learn more about these videos, go through individual demo videos. Click on Continue after adding personalization tags. Set up control groups. Select the email service provider here and click Continue. Review this email and schedule the email. You can also save it as a draft and schedule it later. Now let's go through campaign analytics once the email is sent. Click on a campaign in the main navigation and select a campaign whose status is complete. This includes comprehensive analytics, including how many users received the email, opened it, clicked on a link in the email, or unsubscribed to it. Errors give the number of users who didn't receive an email due to technical and non-technical errors, such as how many users received email during Do Not Disturb hours. This is a funnel of the email campaign, from sent to viewed to clicked. Click here to view distribution of clicks across multiple links in the campaign. Congratulations, you have created your first email campaign.